Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. Today I would like to explain the problems that can occur when the eyelids are not functioning properly to cover the front of the eye. Uh, usually we say in a normal eye about one-sixth of the whole eyeball is exposed to the air in the front of the eye uh, when the eyelids are in a good position. Now they need to work properly in order to distribute the tears smoothly over the eye and to cover it when the eyes are closed. Now if this doesn't occur correctly there, there can be a very poor surface of the eye. It can cause problems with the cornea that we call exposure or exposure keratopathy where the surface can get very rough and it can even lead to ulceration, infection, or even uh, in severe cases perforation of the cornea. Now these eyelids cannot work properly with multiple reasons. One can be if there's a problem with the seventh cranial nerve. That's the nerve that controls the facial muscles to help close the eyelid and this can occur after an injury or a Bell's palsy and then the eyelids may not blink fully, may not uh, completely close and it also interferes with the natural tear production. Uh, other things that can happen, the eyes may not close properly overnight when people are sleeping. Interestingly, this can occur sometimes in multiple family members and then other things that cause the eyelids to uh, retract or be further back than they should like Graves disease uh, or in people who've had eyelid surgery to lift the eyelids sometimes they can be uh, raised too much or separated too much. In the early stages some of the treatments that we like to use can be artificial tears or thicker tear tears like a gel drop. Um, other people that have trouble overnight may use ointments to help lubricate the eye better uh, and also they can consider taping their eyelids close, uh, which can be bothersome sometimes, but very effective. Or also they could consider using a moisture chamber where we can take a thin piece of cellophane or something to make a seal around the socket to help keep uh, moisture and lubrication inside the eye and better for the surface. Beyond this, some people may need to consider surgery to help improve the location of the eyelids or the function of the eyelids. Uh, this can include closing the eyelids uh, either temporarily or more permanently out towards the side or putting a gold weight in the eyelid at the top to help bring it down more and help it close better. Uh, so if you have any questions about corneal exposure or problems with the eyelids, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and hopefully see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.